at this point, making a Harold and Kumar movie is like an annual rite of spring. Um, so it's it's fun to be back. Obviously, it's um, a different, a lot of different circumstances, but the the essentials that is uh, doing wacky stuff, um, acting with Cal, uh, Greg Shapiro, our producer, remains the same. So that that triumvirate is the same. Um, working with some new people, but it feels good. It's always fun and always ridiculous. Well, this, uh, this installment starts with Harold and Kumar apart, which is interesting. So we're, um, it's sort of the story of us getting back together. Um, Harold is married now to Maria and uh, is leading a fully domesticated life and unbeknownst to Kumar is actually focused on that, um, having, on having children and, and, and trying, um, and has kind of lost himself in that world, uh, and they've grown apart, and Kumar is, seems to be spiraling downward, a little bit depressed, um, is, having, is separated from Vanessa. He'll shock me with, uh, you know, on the we get to the fifth take or something, and he'll throw out the most revolting improvs. Um, he's, his mind can go to the filthiest places, and it's, it's just shocking to me. So, <laughs> and, so it's weird. It's like he's, he's a, an interesting combination. It's very unique. I mean, literally anything is possible with MPH. Apparently, he can be resurrected from the dead, he is clearly a demigod and thereby making any situation, um, you know, plausible in the Harold and Kumar universe. It's been fun. He's a uh, first time feature director and I think he just brings a fresh eye and uh, a lot of enthusiasm and that's infectious.